And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. If you watch my videos, folks, you'll know that one of the things I rag on all the time are the same old themes. Generic fantasy, zombies, trading in the Mediterranean, building a castle. I'm always pleased when I see something different. And when photosynthesis came along, I was really excited. Not just because it looked different, but it looked amazing. It had these little trees here that are made of two pieces of cardboard that you stood up all over the board. It looked gorgeous, but it's also about photosynthesis, which is an interesting idea. And it looked fun. It's from Blue Orange Games. They make a lot of excellent games. So I was very excited to play this one. Now, I know Sam has already reviewed this game, but this is one of my favorite games. So I wanted to come in here, do my own review, and tell you what I think of it. I kind of spoiled it for you by telling you how much I like it. But here's how it plays, and then we'll get to more detailed opinions. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to take one of their level one trees and put it on the outside ring of the board. And you're going to do that, and everyone's going to get two of their trees placed on the outside ring of the board. Each player is also going to get a board like this, and you have a bunch of trees on it, level one, level two, and level three trees. You have like a, an area here where you're going to be able to place trees from. These are trees that you're going to have to purchase. You also have a couple seeds. Players also have a light point track to keep track of how much light they have to spend on actions. So what players are going to do is at the beginning of each round, the sun is going to provide light. So the sun is here, and then at each round is going to move to the next location. And when the sun goes around the board, um, once you'll put one of these tokens up to show how many times the sun goes around. After the sun goes around the board three times, the game is over, and whoever has the most points is the winner. But the sun is going to be shooting light, and it shoots light straight down these paths. Every tree that's in that light is going to give its owner light points. A level, a size one tree will give one, a size two will give two, and a size three will give three light points when you uh, get hit by the light. However, trees can cast a shadow. So the level ones cast a one shadow, level two is a two shadow, level three is a three shadow. This blue tree is casting a one shadow. So since this tree is behind it and it's the same size, it gets no light. In this scenario, blue gets two light, Orange gets two light because even though this one's in front of it, it only casts a shadow there, so the sun easily hits this. And um, green gets two light because their trees don't block each other. But yellow here only gets one light because this tree gets no light. So after everyone gets their light, then everyone will take a turn spending their light points. So what you can do with light points is you can plant a seed. To plant a seed, you put it one space away from one of your trees. A level two tree, if that's on the board, you can put it two spaces away from that. A level three, you can put three spaces away from that. You have to have a seed available down here. You can also change a seed to a level one tree. That costs one light point. You can change a level one to a level two tree. If you have one in your area here, that would cost two. And changing a three to a four costs, uh, a two to a three costs three. And then changing a four, you can't make the four, but if you have a four, you can get rid of that for four light points and take a point tile equal to the, the type of terrain that it's on. And the point tiles go down. You can see, like in this second ring here, they start at 17 and go all the way down to 13 points. This is how you get your most points. Now, you've got to decide when to pull these. You can obviously, when you grow them, you want to pull them right away, but they're also going to be getting you three light every time the sun hits them, and they're also casting shadows. If I have uh, this one here and this like this, that casts a shadow of three. Neither one of those trees is going to get any light. Now when you pull a tree or a seed off the board, you put it back in this area. If there's nowhere to put it, you have to get rid of it. You can only mess with stuff that's in your area or play area. To get things here, you just have to pay the cost. So this seed costs one, it costs four to put a level three tree. The costs are printed on the board. So that's it. You're buying stuff from here, you're putting it on the board, and you're planting seeds and growing things. That's all the actions that players have. It's how they use these actions to get the most points. A couple more things. Each tree slash seed can only be messed with once. So if I plant a seed, I cannot then immediately grow it and then I grow it again into another tree. I can't immediately grow this to a, a tree and then harvest it and get points. So you can only take one action per item. 
So again, once the sun goes around three times, the game's over, unless you're playing an advanced variant where you make it go around four times. Whoever has the most points, which will be these, and on your, depending on how much light you have at the end of the game, you will get a certain number of points. Basically, your light divided by three. That's the game. This game is phenomenal. As I said, it looks phenomenal. I like how each tree has a distinct look, a distinct color. They just look great and they set up easily. And these trees are big pieces and they all fit in the box. I don't have to worry about um, taking them apart and putting them together each time. I love the way the game looks when it's set up. I love how the sun, the big sun moves around it. I also like how the theme makes sense. Your plants are getting light. They're using that light to internalize and make seeds and grow other trees. Trees cast shadow, and that shadow can prevent other trees from growing or getting light to do things. The game is very simple. Had this game come out at a slightly different time frame, I would have said this was a shoe in for the Spiel des Jahres. This is a perfect gateway game to teach people. It's really simple. You got some light, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna plant some seed, grow some trees. It almost seems too simple, but this game is mean and vicious. Now, it's not mean and vicious deliberately. I guess you can make it that way. But by putting trees down, you are blocking other people. Whenever you put a tree down, you're thinking, okay, I'll put it right here because the sun's going to move there. I'll get light. But will the, how many different directions will the sun hit that tree? Also, do you want to get to that middle spot as quickly as possible? Sure, you get that middle spot. You have a middle tree. It's probably going to get hit by light, but it, the middle spot can get you a lot of points. But at, after a while, that middle spot can easily be hemmed in by other trees, forcing you to either decide to harvest it and get those points, which are a lot of points, or just to suck it up and wait till the other trees go away and then the light comes in. And that decision of when to harvest your trees or let them go to the wayside, you're not really chopping them down. I think it's time for that tree's life cycle has ended. Something along that line. When that happens, you know, you have to decide when to do that because yeah, it's points and getting points first, there's more of them. And uh, you know, points are a big deal. It's the whole game. But at the same time, you want to leave that as long as you can because it's getting that light. And the more light you have, the more actions you have. And some turns you might say, I don't want to do anything this turn and save the light for a future turn to use it in different actions. Just love this. Really, really enjoy this game. I, I really find that uh, it looks great. It's easy to teach people. It works well with two, three, four players. This is just a phenomenal choice. An easy one I'm adding to my collection. Uh, photosynthesis, check it out now. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the